Chapter on Interval During Ablution or Bath It is quoted from Ibn Omar that he washed his feet after the other parts which are washed in ablution had become dry. Narrated Mamuna, may Allah be pleased with her, I placed water for the bath of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and he poured water over his hands and washed them twice or thrice. Then he poured water with his right hand over his left and washed his private parts with his left hand. He rubbed his hand over the earth and rinsed his mouth and washed his nose by putting water in it and blowing it out. After that, he washed his face, both forearms, and head thrice and then poured water over his body. He withdrew from that place and washed his feet. Chapter on Pouring Water with One's Right Hand Over the Left One During the Bath Narrated, Mamuna bint al-Harith, may Allah be pleased with her, I placed water for the bath of Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, and put a screen. He poured water over his hands and washed them once or twice. The sub-narrator added that he did not remember if she had said thrice or not. Then he poured water with his right hand over his left one and washed his private parts. Then he rubbed his hand over the earth or the wall and washed it. Then he rinsed his mouth and washed his nose by putting water in it and blowing it out. He washed his face, forearms, and head. He poured water over his body and then withdrew from that place and washed his feet. I presented him a piece of cloth, towel, and he pointed with his hands that he does not want it and did not take it. Chapter on Having Sexual Intercourse and Repeating It and Engaging with One's Own Wives and Taking a Single Bath After Doing So Narrated Muhammad bin al-Muntashir on the authority of his father that he had asked Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, about the hadith of Ibn Umar. She said, May Allah be merciful to Abu Abdurrahman. I used to put scent on Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, and he used to go round his wives, and in the morning he assumed the ihram, and the fragrance of scent was still coming out from his body. Narrated Qatada Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to visit all his wives in a round, during the day and night, and they were eleven in number. I asked Anas, had the Prophet, peace be upon him, the strength for it? Anas replied, We used to say that the Prophet, peace be upon him, was given the strength of thirty men. And Sa'id said, on the authority of Qatada, that Anas had told him about nine wives only, not eleven. Chapter on the Washing Away of Emotional Urethral Discharge and Performing Ablution After It Narrated Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, I used to get emotional urethral discharge frequently. Being the son-in-law of the Prophet, peace be upon him, I requested a man to ask him about it. So the man asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, about it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, Perform ablution after washing your organ, penis. Chapter on Whoever Scented Himself and Then Took a Bath While the Effect of Scent Remained Even After Bathing Narrated Muhammad bin al-Muntashir on the authority of his father that he had asked Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, about the saying of Ibn Umar, that is, he did not like to be a muhrim while the smell of scent was still coming from his body. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, I scented Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, and he went round, had sexual intercourse with all his wives, and in the morning he was a mohrim after taking a bath. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, It is as if I am just now looking at the glitter of scent in the parting of the Prophet's head hair while he was a mohrim. Chapter On to rub the hair thoroughly while taking a bath till one feels that one has made his skin wet underneath the hair and then one pours water over it. Narrated Hisham bin Urwa on the authority of his father 
Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, Whenever Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, took the bath of Janabah, he cleaned his hands and performed ablution like that for Salah, prayer, and then took a bath and rubbed his hair till he felt that the whole skin of the head had become wet. Then he would pour water thrice and wash the rest of the body. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, further said, I and Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, used to take a bath from a single water container from which we took water simultaneously. Chapter on Whoever performed the ablution of Janaba and then washed his body but did not wash once again the parts which were washed in ablution. Narrated Mamuna, may Allah be pleased with her, water was placed for the ablution of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, after Janaba. He poured water with his right hand over his left twice or thrice, and then washed his private parts and rubbed his hands on the earth or on a wall twice or thrice, and then rinsed his mouth, washed his nose by putting water in it, and then blowing it out, and then washed his face and forearms, and poured water over his head and washed his body. Then he shifted from that place and washed his feet. I brought a piece of cloth, but he did not take it and remove the traces of water from his body with his hand. Chapter on If someone while in the mosque remembers that he is Janub, he should leave the mosque to take a bath and should not perform the Yamam. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, once the call, ikama, for the salah, prayer was announced and the rows were straightened, Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, came out, and when he stood up at his musalla, he remembered that he was Janub. Then he ordered us to stay in our places and went to take a bath, and then returned with water dropping from his head. He said, Allahu Akbar, and we all offered the salah with him.